Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Thursday the 14th of October 2021. Uh, this is the New York Times hard level puzzle, uh, when we mostly know what to expect. Well, I say that, we don't really because uh, it can be quite variable also, but anyway, uh, usually it's not too easy and it's not that often impossible. So there you go. If you know what that means, then, you, then you've got some idea. I'll start, jump, I'll jump straight in and tell you what I can see. I can see this five blocking down here and this five blocking up here and five has to go in here. That means I assume you already know the rules of Sudoku. If not, just check out one of my other Guardian videos in the morning because I always explain the rules for those four blocks across here. That leaves just that single square there for four. <coughs> four blocks across here, up here, up here, and we can see that four is going to be in one of these two squares, so that can't be a four either, so four has got to go there. Sorry for the long, the elongated pause there. Uh, I am going through numbers in my head pretty quickly. I'm not coming up with a great deal. Oh dear. I think I've walked my way through all of them already. Ah, no, here we go. So there's a two blocking across here, two blocking across here, so that gives the two to place there. This nine stops this from being a nine, so nine goes here. Six is the last number that we need for that block. All right, let's uh, cycle through the numbers. Then I, I have kind of mentally done this already, or I, I had before I just put in those numbers. So let's do it more visually now. Sometimes that can help uh, see things more clearly. There we go. Look, two blocking down there, two blocking down there, two blocking across here. See how beautiful highlighting is. There's a nine to place there. We've got nine here and nine here and nine blocking there. So all of those intersect to give us a nine there. Uh, and I think that's it. So I'm going to um, go on to including some pencil markings. So first of all, let's put in the missing numbers here. Okay, so one has to go across here like this. Uh, three can go anywhere. I know it's not a pair, but I'm going to put it in because I'm going to 
need it. And 7 goes in these squares here, 1, 3, and 7. Um, so that leaves uh, 9 blocking across here, so 9 is in those squares. 6 blocks down here, so 6 is in those squares. Uh, 8 blocks up here, so 8 is actually in the same squares that we have 6. And so that means that we can remove that 9 now and place our 9 in that square there, and that's going to give a pair of 9s down here. I'll put it in since I'm doing pencil markings already now. Uh, the missing number here now is 5, and that's going to give us a pair of 5s in that location there. 7 blocks across here like this, so 7 is going to be in those squares there. Okay, I'm going to mostly stick to pairs, by the way. Uh, I'm going to, I know that I've got a triple here, but I want, in the main I'm going to stick to pairs, since they are uh, more useful overall. Right, so let's do some pencil markings then, uh, if I can do any more. So twos have to go there. Twos come here. Okay, that's about it. Threes. And four. Excuse me. Hello. Cap. Cap. Cap, cap, cap. Sorry, just took a telephone call to say a delivery is on its way. Six going there. Uh, did I do five? I'm not sure if I finished five. But, um, no, I didn't. Five goes up here, sorry, and five is across here. I lost. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Five, five blocking across here, five blocking up here. This is a five to place. Sorry about that. Let me get rid of that five there. Uh, gives a pair of fives down here. Sorry, I lost my concentration when I took a telephone call. Uh, four is also a pair here and here. Right, because we've got four blocking across there and four blocking up there. Um, four is a pair down here. Five, five I've got already six. Okay, so eight blocks up this column here, so that will give us a pair of eights there. It might turn out to be more useful later. Nine is a pair in these squares. And that's about it. I think I'm going to begin in this block down here. I'm getting the feeling that might be more useful. I mean, this looks the most logical area. I can see 6 and 8 are the only numbers missing, and I just know that 6 is not here. OK, I mean, I can put them in now. Look, 6 and 8 is everywhere. So I mean, I know there's nothing there. So let's look down here. 1 block's down here, so 1 is in those squares. 2 we've got already. 3 we don't know. So three can go anywhere. Four blocks down here and across here. So four is in the corner square. So we've only got three corners available. Uh, five is done. Six blocks down here only. Ah. Okay, seven, eight is seven, eight, nine is done. Now, was there anything useful there? Three, four, six. Mm. 
I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so up here then, three can go anywhere. Um, four. So we're looking for seven, seven blocks here. So that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, done. Right then, that was a useless plan. One blocking up here, so one is available like this. Um, two we've got already. Three blocks up here. Three like this. Four, five, six, seven, nine is done. We're looking for eight. Eight. Aha, we've got a single here. Eight blocks here. Eight also is a pair here, so blocking there. So these three squares can be eight and that's going to give us a single three here and that's also going to give us an eight in that square so now we can get rid of threes and eights in this block three can go there this three and eight can go three can go eight can go that's much tidier isn't it uh, we can also place a three now because three blocking across here uh, Oh no, I tell the line, there's a th possible three there. Sorry, I, I apologize. I was jumping the gun there. I thought I'd seen threes limited to this row, but it wasn't true. I told you a lie. Well, I was about to tell you a lie. I didn't quite get there. Okay, so. Okay then, so down here, one blocks that square, one is in these squares. Uh, three blocks here and three blocks here, so we've got three as a pair in those squares. Four, five is done. Six blocks down here, so six is available like that. Seven, okay, eight is going to be corner, sorry, eight is down here and down here. We can in fact place an eight as a single number there. Okay, that's going to give me a pair of eights here as well for later. And that is going to give me an eight to place here, right? Because, ha ha, go back. I thought I'd seen eights in this row. That's so weird. Sorry, it doesn't place an eight up there. I take that back. <laughs> Making a few errors here. Uh, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, still got nine to do, so nine blocks down here and nine blocks across here. So nine is a pair in those squares there. So we've got one, seven, nine, three, six, one, six, one, six, okay. Error checking, things seem to be okay. There's one number missing across here now. Um, it is a seven right now. We can place a seven here, okay, because look left and right, uh, sorry, middle and right column, middle and right column, so down here, it has to appear here, we've got seven blocking here, seven blocking here, so we can place a seven there, we're overwriting a four there, we can remove candidate four in that square there. Now we've got three six here and three six here, so that means that is going to have to be a one. And that means this is a 6, giving us 2 here and 9 here, and we're moving our candidate 9 there. Now we've got 1, 7 here, this has got to be a 9 down here now, and so we can remove candidate 9 there, and we can place 9 in this square because obviously it can't go there. 9 is actually a completed number now. Uh, now, this says 3-6, this says 3-6, so this has to be an 8, can't be anything else. And now we can remove candidate 8 there. And uh, now we can get 8 blocking, no, I nearly did it again. 
<laughs> I nearly did make the same mistake. That is so weird. Almost made the same mistake twice. That is bad. Okay. Probably because I'm expecting my delivery now. I mean, I'm in a good mood. But I will have to pay some money. Two blocks across here. So that gives me a two as a pair there. All right, let's fill in the numbers then. Okay, so one blocking across here, one up there. So one in those squares, two, three blocks up here, and three blocks across here. So we've got a pair of threes, although they're not in the same row or column. Four, five, six, seven, nine is done. We don't have eight yet. Eight blocks up the central column and here. And so eight is available in these squares. Or not, not this square actually, sorry, but eight blocking across here. Eight is not possible there. Getting, sorry, I'm getting messages on my wrist. I have a, a, a watch that that's, gives me messages and uh, it's very annoying. So what else do we know? Um, okay, let's just finish off down here and then search for everything afterwards. So we got one here. Uh, two is done, three blocks down here like this, so three is in those squares, four is done, five, do we not have any knowledge of five? Ooh, we don't, interesting, five is anywhere, six blocks down here, and that looks like it, seven, eight, nine is done, right. Okay, let's um, focus a bit more and try to pay a bit more attention to what I'm doing. Okay, so here's a pair of three and six. So this is going to have to be a seven now. And we've got to remove the three and the seven from the square. Uh, and uh, also the, si uh, the uh, six from this square can't be true. We've got three or six. So that's going to be an eight. And this is going to be a four here now. Let's get rid of candidate four there. Now we've got three and seven, so this has got to be an eight to place. This must be a six here. Sixes can be removed from there. So can the threes actually, because we've got three and six. That will give us just one or five, so this will have to be three now. Last square to fill in here is a one. This can't be a one. It also can't be a three. And therefore, 4 is all that's left. Um, right. Chop, chop. 8 here gives us a 5. And a 6 in that square then. So this will have to be a 7 now. We've got 6 and 7. That leaves 8. <laughs> and 8 appeared in that square. Lucky I didn't put it in there by accident, as I tried to do twice. 2 is there. We've got one and two, this has got to be a three now, giving us seven in that five value cell, three there. Seven gives us one here and a seven in that square. The seven gives us a five to place here, seven to place here. Looks like I'm gonna make it before the delivery arrives. Three goes here, that's gonna be a six. Three is here, six is here, three is here. I'm not doing anything, it looks a bit fast, I know, but I'm not doing anything at all special. I'm just choosing either or. It's either A or B, uh, and that's all there is to it. So there's nothing difficult about this. Uh, missing numbers in this column are one and two. Two blocks here like this, so this has got to be a two. And this has to be a one now, giving us a one here, a five here. The last number in this row is a 6, and the last number in the whole grid is a 5, and there we get our rainbow pattern to say, New York Times hard level puzzle finished. Let's go and get my money ready for my cash on delivery. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for joining me, and uh, hope to see you for more Sudoku later on, whenever. Bye-bye.